hello friends this is a what's up posted question and uh, related to simple interest chapter and it's an important question uh, let's look at the question sukesh invested a total of rupees 18400 in two schemes a and b at the rate of 14% per annum and 18% per annum respectively that means in scheme a he gets a interest at 14% per annum and in scheme scheme b he gets an interest 18% per annum at the end of 3 years he got in total amount of rupees 27280 okay from both the investment together how much amount has invested in the scheme a which is uh, 14% per annum let's uh, do it uh, there is two way i can answer this question one is in a very conventional way the the way we used to work in ninth standard and all let's do that let's assume that 14% per annum if the amount invested is x then at 18% per annum how much is the money invested the remaining part what is the total money 18400 so what is the remaining money after x that is x um total 18400 minus x so here he gets 14% per annum on this sum he gets a 18% per annum for how many years in both the cases it is for 3 years i can say it's 3 years and the total in amount is 27280 how much is the total interest the total interest is amount minus sum let's do that that's 27280 minus sum which is 18400 so let's take out 18400 this will give us simple interest from both the schemes in 3 years and that is 0 8 12 4 is 8 and that's 16 26 minus 8 is 8 so interest for 3 years from both the scheme is 8880 so uh, what is a interest how do we find out or what is a basic formula for interest so si is equal to P R T by hundred. So in the first case, what is P? P is X. What is R? Fourteen percent. And what is T? Three years. In the second case, scheme B. So P is eighteen thousand four hundred minus X. R eighteen percent. T same three years. And the interest S one. The interest from this. Plus interest from this is eight thousand eight hundred and eighty. Let's write it in equation. That is x into rate is fourteen percent. So fourteen into three times P R T by hundred is equal to uh, no plus the interest from scheme A plus interest from scheme b what is p here the p is 18400 minus x this is p r 18% so 18 and t 3 years by 100 so this is interest one or uh, interest from scheme a interest from scheme b and the total is Eight thousand eight hundred and eighty. Then I need to find out x. How do we find out x? This is fourteen three forty two, and this is eighteen three fifty four. Now this comes a forty two x by hundred plus here fifty four into one eighty four. So how do we multiply this 184 with 
so for for here you need to know some uh, speed maths so if you go my videos of speed maths for bank exams in youtube you will find the way i am multiplying it those methods are explained there so 4 into 4 16 carry 1 now 4 into 18 18 4 is 72 plus 5 4 20 72 plus 20 is 92 92 plus 1 is 93 carry 9 next 5 into 18 so 18 5 90 90 plus 9 that is 99 so this is the product 184 into 54 uh, 18 5 90 plus 5 99 that's right and followed by two zeros minus 54x by 100 which is equal to 8880 by solving this I get the x value I am just doing that calculation so here this is 54x so minus 54x and uh, plus 42x and that will be left with 12x so 12x is equal to I will take this 100 the other side so it is become 8 lakhs 88,000 ok so this 100 get cancelled and the 100 comes over here now when uh, uh, the difference between 9 lakhs 93,600 and 8 lakhs 88,000 so the difference 0 minus 0 anyhow it's 0 and here 0 minus 0 it comes 0 and uh, this is uh, uh, 6 minus 0 is 6 and then 13 minus 8 which is 5 and this is 8 8 minus 8 is 0 and 9 minus 8 is 1 this is 12 x then what is x? So x is equal to cancel with this. So with 12, 12, 8, 96 and I left with 9, again 96, 12, 8, 96 followed by two zeros. So x is equal to 8800. Do we have option 8800? Option choice 3. This is your answer. But as I said, this is a very conventional method traditional method where we are writing all the steps and we do it next I will show that what could be the alternate method now friends second method of the same question method 2 where in the first case 14% interest second scheme 18% interest overall what percentage interest for that R is equal to rate of interest is equal to we know the formula that is SI into 100 by P into T do we know what is SI the SI is the amount minus sum which we got in the previous case was 8800 the difference between amount and sum this is overall simple interest what is P 18000 400 overall principal what is t t is 3 years so by using these figures i can get a rate of interest let's do that so r is equal to si which is 8800 into 100 by p into t that is 18400 into T which is 3 years I get the rate of interest let's cancel this to 0 and 2 0 and uh, I can see that this number is getting cancelled uh, did I get uh, 8800 or 8880 this is rate of uh, this is the difference between these two you can see that again there is a rough calculation 27280 minus uh, 18,400 so I get the difference 0, 8, 
12 minus 4 is again 8 and this is 26 minus 18 is 8. So the simple interest overall is 8880. So I took that 8880 that is SI into 100 by P into T. Now this 2020 gets cancelled. I can see that this number is getting cancelled by 4. So 4416 and uh, I left with uh, 24, 4624 with 4 that's 2, 2, 2, 0 and again with 2, 23 and uh, this is 1, 1, 1, 0 and uh, that number gets cancelled by 3. How many times? 3, 3, 9 and I left with uh, uh, 2 here and 21 and uh, 3, 7, 21 and 0. Now 370 is not multiple of 23, it is not divisible. So let that be in the fraction format. Rate of interest is 370 by 23 percent. Overall rate of interest. Now I got the three rate of interest. One is in scheme A, another is in scheme B, the third one is overall rate of interest. So what I do is, as the denominator 23 is there, if I multiply this 14 percent by 23 by 23, so here also I will get a denominator 23. And if I multiply this 18 by 23 by 23, in this case also I will get denominator 23. Why I am doing so? Because in overall rate of interest, it is not simply 15% or 16%. It is something which is not getting cancelled. Even if I cancel, I will get the decimal value. That makes the calculation complicated. Therefore, I left this in fraction. So, as it is in fraction with a denominator 23, you are expected to uh, convert this percentage with a denominator 23. So, if you need to uh, get a denominator 23, then you need to multiply the uh, percentage by 23 by 23. So, let us see that 14 percent can be written as 14 into 23 by 23. Now, when I multiply this with 14, so 14, 3, 42, carry 4 and 28 and plus 4 is 32. So, that is uh, 322. So, 14 percent can be written as 322 by 14. The similar way, 18 percent, as I get the denominator 23, I will convert that also in uh, denominator 23. 18 percent can be written as 18 into 23 by 23. Okay. So, again multiplying this with 18, uh, 23 and 18. So, 18, 3, 54, carry 5 and uh, 18 to 36 plus 5 41 so i got this by 23 so i converted this 14 percent it is in 23 so multiplied both numerator and denominator by 23 so i got this so is the case of 18 now i will use these three figures this is left hand side write down this 14 percent right hand side write down 18 percent and in the middle write down overall percentage that is 322 and 18 percent that is 414 and then overall 370 now you don't need to use 23 because 23 is become common for all the percentage. For 14%, 23 denominator is common. 18 denominator is 23. For this, denominator is 23. For as all the percentage denominator is 23, you can eliminate the denominator. Now you take the cross difference. And this cross difference will give you the ratio in which the total amount 18,400 is invested in scheme A and scheme B. This 322 is related to 14%. So this is scheme A and this is scheme B. So the difference here is 30 plus uh, 14 is 44 and uh, the difference here 
Yes, uh, the difference is 50 minus 2, 48. So what is the ratio? The ratio is 11 with 4, 11 times and with 4, 12 times. That means scheme A to scheme B. The amount which is in uh, sum which is invested is in the ratio of 11 is to 12. So how much amount is invested in scheme A? Let's calculate that. And that calculation is 18,400 is the total amount, total sum of which scheme A is 11 parts out of total 11 plus 12 that is 23 parts. So take the 11 parts here out of total 23 parts so 23. Check how many times it gets cancelled with 8 3 24 carry 2 and 8 2 16 plus 2 18 so i can see that it gets cancelled 800 times now 800 into 11 that comes 8800 so the sum invested in scheme a is 8800 in the previous case also we got the same answer 8800 now do we have option the same thing again option 3 okay so I recommend to go with this method and in competitive examinations you will find that uh, this uh, percentage is usually is in a round figure in integer not in fraction you will get that it is uh, if the lower is 14 percent and the higher is 18 percent in between 14 percent to 18 percent generally it is 16 percent or 15 percent or 17 percent the figures will be like this but still if I get in fraction not it is a complicated question if I get a denominator anything I will convert the remaining percentage also with the same denominator as we did it in this case I got the denominator 23 here so I converted this 14% also with a denominator 23 18% also with a denominator 23 so I recommend to please follow the second method not the first one. 